COVID-19 is hitting the events industry hard. And like everyone else in it, I saw my bookings, my pipeline and my income change dramatically when lockdown kicked in. I will truly admit actually to having a week or even three of feeling really sorry for myself, drinking too much wine, crying, even actually a full on tantrum when I ripped the whiteboard poster off the wall, the one with my lists of goals and leads and booked work, and I tried to rip it up. I felt so impotent, all the work and energy that I had been putting in had it felt like it was wasted through no fault of my own I felt really demotivated like I'd lost control of my business but you know about two or three weeks into lockdown and quite a few pounds heavier I hauled myself off the sofa and I started to look for a way forward I didn't just want to panic pivot I wanted to ensure that whatever direction I moved my business and my work in would align with my beliefs and the kind of things I was doing before lockdown and actually wherever I moved I wanted it to remain valid after lockdown after we get back to real life and, and complement the services that I already give people and it quickly actually became clear to me that promoting what I do within the virtual event sector is the way forward and that's because I see huge potential in the virtual event sector in virtual meetings I actually got to see, I'm really lucky, firsthand how virtual events can really help business. Around four years ago, I was hosting and moderating high-level conversations um, in, in virtual roundtables, essentially, with key decision makers in, in all different kinds of industries. Uh, and yeah, the industries, the verticals were very diverse and the conversations were on essentially different subjects, you know, anything from retail to, um, you know, mechanical engineering and manufacturing. But the common ground was always around how senior decision makers were going to be steering their organisations and how they were and how they would be steering them through digital transformation. Now, the testimonials that I received afterwards were essentially testament to the impact that these conversations had, and they were all virtual, on both participants and the sponsors of these conversations in terms of how much they enjoyed it, in terms of how much they learned, the connections they make, and actually the real serious business that was often done off the back of those conversations. But it was a unique, you know, niche product at the time. It was tough for the sales people in my organization to always to sell it into business as a marketing um, exercise because it was expensive it was a brave new world of digital it was you know as untested in terms of you know the data wasn't years old of how successful these events could be and it was it was new it was a brave new world of digital and I actually think until lockdown it's fair to say that virtual has been seen as possibly the poor man's live event. It's the cheaper ticket. It's a teaser to the real thing. It's the poor relative, whatever. But I actually think we're at the cusp of a real change where virtual is going to really come into its own. I think it's actually reasonable to see virtual conferences as a key transformation moment, maybe the digital transformation moment for the events industry, because the weird time that we're in has brought it to the fore. We're all actually being forced to go virtual in some way or other. And in so many subjects and in so many sectors, I saw how the power of networking and collaboration can be just as effective online as at an in-person event. It's really all down to how we use it, how we exploit it. And we're learning so much as we go um, you know, into the, the latter stages of lockdown. I'm now sitting on virtual platforms with really talented people. I'm hearing amazing content. I'm being inspired by speakers in the industry. The technology is here and it's actually getting better all the time. You know, you're most of you sitting on Zoom. Yeah, it's great, but it's the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more, so many more advanced products that are out there for larger conferences, for bigger events, um, ways to show off your wares online and your services. There's online event booths. There's incredible video production sites that are springing up and people are diversifying into making these kind of online booths. And there's apps being developed that will improve the productivity and the scope of some of the platforms that are already out there is just so much going on um, and I'm getting contacted all the time by people saying oh let's collaborate let's talk and it, it's really exciting because we're all kind of finding a new way that could actually really and I think will be a really key way that we do business in the future now of course live events are going to return I'm looking forward to them just as much as everybody else but my way forward I think is I'm looking forward to being able to MC for people and train their speakers at both virtual and live events and I feel 
a lot more confident moving into the future. Interested to know what everybody else thinks about virtual events and um, anything else you want to comment on, let me know in the comments below.